This creamy macaroni salad is so delicious and a family favorite at all of our gatherings and will be great at your holiday dinner or picnic. Hi, I'm Chef Fred. Welcome to Cooking with Chef Fred, where I teach you great tips and skills of everyday cooking that you can share with your family and friends. So all the kids are home, so if you hear some things in the background, just know that the kids are here and um, I'm just going to make the video anyway. So here we go. So in the macaroni salad, we're going to have one pound of macaroni. We're going to use a chopped onion. We're going to have uh, carrots, radishes, dill pickle, and my good old best friend, Duke's mayonnaise. We're going to have that in it. So I'm going to show you how to put all the ingredients together right now. Okay, now with the pasta, a couple of tips here is if you'll turn your water on to hot water, let it heat up, and then use hot water to put in your pot, it will boil a whole lot faster and quicker. So we're going to let this heat up. And then the second part of it is if you put a lid on it, your water will boil even quicker. And this will help you so that you're not spending a lot of time waiting on it to boil. Okay, now our water is nice and warm. We're going to fill our pot up about halfway, a little bit over halfway, because you want to have room for your pasta but you want to have plenty of water in there so your pasta's got plenty of room to expand. And then the third thing about your water is you want to put plenty of salt in it. You want it to be as about as salty as the ocean is a way to put it because in other words, you want a lot of salt. So we're going to get this on the stove. We'll get that going and I will get a lid put on and we'll let that come to a boil. And until that comes to a boil, uh, let's chop up the rest of the ingredients. Okay, our water's boiling. When you open your lid, open it away from you so the steam won't get you. And then we're gonna take our pasta and pour it in and then your water's gonna stop boiling and that's okay. Just put your lid on and it will come right back up to temperature. And then once it starts boiling, we'll take the lid off because it will over boil if you don't. So we'll keep an eye on it. So let's get to chopping. Okay, so we're going to put a wet paper towel down. That keeps our cutting board from sliding all over the place. And what we're going to do first is our carrots. So we'll get our carrots and get them into our cutter, our chopper here. We're going to put in about a half a cup of carrots. All right, and then this will be a little bit of noise while it chops. That's about how we want our carrots and then I'm going to dump it into here. Okay and that is about the size that you're looking for on the carrots. And then next we're going to do radishes. And what I like to do is to take them out. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the ends off of them first and then I'm going to take them over to the sink and give them a wash. You just want to cut the ends off of them because you can see that it has the root still on it. So we want to just cut the ends off. Just like this. Okay, and again, we're going to do about a half a cup. All 
of radish. And I know you may think, well, I've never had radish in my macaroni salad before, but it really gives it a good flavor. It gives it a nice little crunch. So I'm going to walk over to the sink here and give these a rinse. Because they've been in the ground, you want to wash all the dirt off. Okay. Then we'll bring them back over here to our chopper. And we're going to give these a nice chop. You want to make sure it's nice and chopped and because you don't want your guests to get a big piece of radish. So we chop those about the same size. And I don't worry about scraping it out just yet because I've got one more thing to do is I've got to uh, do the onion. So we're going to do a half an onion. We get the peel off of it. And then I'm going to just give it a little chop so it will fit into the chopper. That's good. Now I'm going to get a little scraper here. Now we've got our three things. Now I'll use a scraper to get everything out. Don't want to leave any goodies in there. Want to get all of our goodies out. Okay. And there we've got our uh, our carrot our onion and our radish okay so I'm gonna clean this up and then we'll come right back okay so our pasta is nice and cooked and we're going to take it and drain the water off of it now Actually, I'm going to bring this over here. All right, now we get it nice and drained. And then we're going to pour it into our bowl. Then we're going to give it a little, little mix. We're going to add about half a jar of our dill relish. Make sure it's dill now and not sweet. I, I like the dill relish better. Give that a nice, oh it smells so good. Give that a nice spin. Now we salted our pasta really well so the salt content ought to be right on point. So you want to test that before you add any other seasonings. Now we're going to put in a cup of mayonnaise. And uh, I'm giving you the measurements, but I've made it for so long I kind of know how much to put in it. So we're going to give this a nice in. Nice mix around the hot tub. And it's coming together very nicely. Get 
get it all mixed up. Okay, and now we have it there. Okay, Landon, let's give it a taste test and see how we like it. Mm. That's good. That was delish. Two thumbs up. Yep. Well, this is Chef Fred saying thank you for joining us today, and thank you to my cameraman, Landon, for helping me out on this video. And we appreciate you coming by and stopping by. Check out my other videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. And this is Chef Fred saying go out and cook something great. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.